next class we have discussed the details of arithmetic mean you are given n observations x1 x2 3 xn hmm? then how can we find out the geometric mean okay first of all we have to take the product x1 into x2 into etc xn and take the nth root so that is the that is actually geometric mean it is not comma but it should be actually product in this book it is given as comma not it is not comma it is actually product i'll show you <coughs> suppose you are given n number of observations okay So now let us take the log of this geometric mean. What happens when we take log of this geometric mean? This one by log log of this one is actually we can Right. Log of x1 into x2 into etc. x1 raised to 1 by n. So what is log of x1 into raised to 1 by n? That you know that that is log a raised to x is equal to x log a. So so that we are obtaining the log of log x into y equal to log x plus log y. So we can again simplify it as X2 
plus etc plus log of xn one by n, one by n is taken outside okay so this is the so this can be uh, again we can simplify class can be replaced going from 1 to n log of x i right Okay. Sorry, we need to put the suffix only for this x. of gm so what will be <coughs> gm from this equation we can find out the gm as anti log of this quantity The, that result is given here. Yeah, gm is equal to anti log of log of uh, anti log of sum one by n summation i from one to l log x i. So, <coughs> what should be the formula in the case of frequency distribution? So that is given here. So <coughs> I will show you. Suppose x one is repeated again and again. Okay. in uh, x1 hmm? comma etc then x2 repeated some uh, f2 times etc x2 and so on and then at last xn repeated uh, some fn times that means repeated some f1 times hmm? x2 repeated f2 times etc xn repeated fn times so what will be the geometric mean so the product becomes x1 into 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 etc x1 into x2 into into x2 x2 into etc at last x into etc x okay let us put x here otherwise it will not come under this root side What is this number? This number will be n1 plus n2 plus etc. Some
sorry this one is f1 f1 times x2 f2 times this etc plus f n times ok In that case, we can write it as this is capital N. Total frequency. So that is capital N equal to uh, summation I going from 1 to N. FI. Right, so instead of summation f i or f one plus f two plus x at f n, we can replace it with capital N. Okay, so what will be this? So in this equation, we need only to write only once. Okay, and put a power for the variable. Okay, so x one repeated. x1 into x1 f1 times we write just x2 x1 raised to f1 and instead of writing x2 into x2 into x2 into x2 f2 times we write this is f2 etc so what will be log gm uh, we can Okay, so this is how can we write? One by n into log of x one raised to f one. Yeah, we can put that again. So, what will be the Next step, yeah, it will be 1 by n into log x1 raised to, so instead of we can uh, uh, simplify to one more step that is we can take log a you know that log a raised to x equal to x into log a so that that property can be applied here Okay, so what will be the result? Yeah, just uh, we can see that this is F i hmm? instead of what will be geometric mean? Any log of capital N 
F I okay end to distinguish we can use a product symbol here so geometric mean is obtained in this case also okay and the log of 1 by n into summation i from 1 to n f i log x i so different nodes are given geometric mean is appropriate average for calculating index number and average rate of change geometric mean can be calculated only for non zero and non negative values because when zero values or negative values comes under the square root sign so that will not work in mathematics so we cannot uh, conduct calculate geometric mean for the negative values and uh, the series of observations involving zero so we have to avoid such situations so uh, similarly we can find out the weighted arithmetic mean so instead of frequency we can consider fi as wi so what will be the weighted frequency distribution so instead of uh, this wi sorry instead of fi weight associated with each observation okay wi and what will be n instead of n we can write it as fi we are writing w so this is the weighted arithmetic mean weighted geometry weighted geometry sorry weighted geometry mean we can multiply 2 into 4 into h and take the uh, cube root that is cube root of 64 that equal to 4 now another example is calculate geometric mean of 4 6 9 11 and 15 so we can compute using uh, log uh, log formula so that is x we have 4 6 9 11 15 take the log values so that the values are given here take the total divide with the number n n is equal to 5 and take the log value and take the average sorry and geometric mean okay it's very easy to compute another example is frequency class frequency data so class is given 1 2 3 there are 8 number of observations in between 4 and 6 there are 16 number of observations in between 7 and 9 there are 15 number of observations and uh, in between 10 and 12 there are 3 observations so that frequencies are displayed here and we have taken the central value as the observation that is 2 5 8 and 11 take the logarithmic value find out the logarithmic value find out the product fi log xi so we have used this formula okay this formula this formula for that we have to compute fi log xi so they have uh, computed fi log xi values just f column multiply the f column with the log x column that will result in this f log x column and take the total and then apply the uh, formula what is the formula geometric mean is equal to anti log of summation fi log x by capital N that we have derived. Substitute the given and results. Summation f, f log x is totally is given as 30.2627. Okay. 30.2627. Capital N is total frequency that is given as uh, 42. Okay. Okay. So that is divided with the 42 and we have taken log and anti log. So that is 5.254 so what are the 
advantages and merits and demerits of this geometry. So I have already mentioned that uh, the one of the demerit is when zero or negative values are involved in some series of observations, we cannot compute because of root involved in the computation formula. So general merits and demerits are given here. It is rigidly defined. It has clear-cut mathematical formula. Based on all the items, based on the all items, the magnitude of every item is considered for its computer because we are multiplying. So the magnitude will be taken in uh, consideration. It is not uh, uh, as unduly affected by extreme items of as arithmetic mean because we have already discussed that if there are extreme values that will affect the arithmetic mean. So uh, because it gives less weight to large items and more weight to small items. And uh, it can be algebraically manipulated. Geometry mean of the combined set can be calculated from the geometry mean of size of the sets. It is useful in averaging ratios and percentages. Okay, then demerits. It is neither simple to understand nor easy to calculate. It's a general demerits. Usage of logarithm takes its computation easy. Uh, it has less sampling stability than arithmetic mean. Uh, so we cannot use this always. Okay cannot be calculated in open end data because sometimes we are getting the data like uh, 0 to infinity in between 0 and infinity if it comes uh, such a value uh, if there are such values so it is very difficult to compute it cannot be found graphically it is not defined for qualities further when one item is 0 it is 0 thereby loss its representative character so if we cannot use when one of the observations is 0 or negative so that is the main demerit. Okay. So this you can write this merits and demerits and the problems and uh, this result and you can submit in the Moodle today. Okay. And if you have any doubt, you can ask to me no problem. After writing and uh, dis uh, writing and studying these problems and uh, uh, theories, and if you have any doubts after studying. You can ask to me, no problem. We will discuss again. Okay. I think you have already, you might have studied in this, uh, all these uh, means, activating geometry, harmonic in plus two classes. Okay. That much knowledge is required for studying this type of estimates. So we have discussed two. Central central tendencies, central machines. One is arithmetic mean, and uh, <coughs> uh, one is, uh, we have discussed arithmetic mean. Uh, uh, next is geometric mean. Okay, geometric and uh, another one is harmonic mean. So we have discussed two measure of central tendencies. That is arithmetic mean and geometric mean. Another is harmonic mean. That will be discussed in the next class okay